Welcome to Design to Share q and I'm Erwin. And I'm Nicola. Today we're asking, how can I work from home without making or creating a huge mess? I think that uh, the home office or the library or the guest room that you use as the home office or library uh, works very well for that uh, purpose. Uh, having a desk and uh, it's all one really needs. Uh, the desk and the computer or the laptop or anything else like that would work very well. And also that depends on how you're going to use the space. Are you going to use it on a daily basis to work from? Or are you going to use it, you know, occasionally or maybe, you know, meet your accountant there and, and possibly, you know, if you have children at home, maybe they're going to use it to do their homework or maybe play a board game. So it really determines how you're actually going to decorate it in terms of, of how you're going to use the space. I think storage is really a key because Absolutely. working with a computer or doing as a home office uh, work um, creates a lot of mess. Yes. And also if you're working, you obviously function much better if you have everything organized and to hand, you know, exactly where to find things. It's easier to keep it tidy. You can get some great little storage boxes now from places like the Container Store. Or and Marshalls. Marshalls is great, yes. Yes, so uh, you know they can all add like a decorative element, you know, you can have the woven ones or the leather bound or the suede ones, you know, can make it fun and obviously, you know, keep it tidy. I think designing the space, I mean traditionally we look at uh, libraries very much as a traditional space. Yes. Uh, but that's not necessary. There's no reason why you can't have a contemporary library. Right. And uh, as long as you have some sort of desk surface, it works very well. Right. It doesn't have to be so formal. It can be a relaxed space also. Right. That's and so then charming. also I think with bookcases, if you can't afford or you don't want to put bookcases all around the room, to create that continuous paneled look. Like you can use a wall covering, for example, that's um, the same color as wood. You can get a wood color wall covering, right. either it's like a, a raffia or a grass cloth, or yes. even I used once say, uh, a wall covering that looked like books. Indeed, if you use something like a, a velvet to upholster the walls, it can really add a sense of luxury to, to a, a library. Yes, and great for space. acoustics, actually, as yes. well. Yes. And in fact, if you don't want to spend the money uh, as expensive as upholstering a wall with, uh, with fabric, you can have the fabric paperbacked, and it gets applied like yes. wallpaper, and it gives the same look right uh, almost the same look and for less money yes a library is also a great place to meet people say if it's a little bit more of a formal uh, situation you're meeting uh, your accountant perhaps uh, or just having a meeting with uh, somebody that's not so intimately connected to the family it's a great place to do it in a library right as well as playing games serving drinks after dinner for example is a great is a great way to use a library yes. also one thing we didn't touch on is lighting in a, in a library or um, home office you know obviously you'll need your task lighting if you're working there so like to you know wee hours or whatever so you need your recess or whichever but basically task lighting then also some ambient lighting a nice little desk lamp what's also lovely is to have uh, lighting on the bookcase to put picture yes. lights above yes. each bookcase and rather expensive, than but it's a very very lovely it's a great look, look and it gives uh, it gives it it has a great function yes. actually and I think also there's a sort of this feng shui thing. We haven't spoken about feng shui yet today, but um, one should really face the door. And uh, not, I mean, I, you know, sometimes you can't help it and you have your desk set up in a room where you're facing the wall uh, and uh, your back is not facing, uh, you know, is not facing away from the door, but rather you're facing your back towards the right. door. And a nice tip then is to put a lovely mirror actually in front of you so mm. you can see what's behind you. And even though you don't really need to, it just gives a good sense, which is what sort of feng shui is all yes. about. So I think in summary, what we can say is that uh, depending on how you use the room is going to dictate how you decorate the room. And really the key issue here is storage and clever use of space. So create your own little jewel box of a library. I'm Erwin. And I'm Nicola. Thank you for watching Design to Share Q and A. When entertaining, have your guests retire to your home office library for an after dinner drink. Our wine to share recommendation for this occasion is the Meridian Pinot Noir. Our 2005 vintage is from the central California coast. It has a lush nose with cherry and violet notes and has a complex flavorful taste that smacks of juicy red berry fruitiness. Also good with that salmon steak dinner you love to serve. After the feast, this is a special treat. The Meridian Winery is in Paso Roble, California, with over 200 year old oak trees, landscape herb and flower gardens, and beautiful picnic grounds. Their natural stone winery building and shop are also on the grounds, and we like their catered picnic lunch served on their patio, complete with breathtaking views of the vineyards and gardens. Who can resist thinking about sunny California when you're sipping from our wine to share Meridian Pinot Noir?